Welcome to a CAD designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling, exercise number 19. We make this 3D model, with the help of this diagram, in minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SOLIDWORKS software, click on New, select the part, and then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description, for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we select the front plane for the sketch. And draw these multiple profiles in a single sketch. Including this profile, and this rib section. Then extrude these profiles respectively with extruding values. Next, we make a slot on this face. And get through the cut from a solid object. Our 3D object should be completed. Let's start modeling. Select the front plane and click on the sketch. Select the line tool from the sketch tab. The select origin point for the first point of the line. Draw a line straight horizontally to the left side. Put the dimension 96 millimeters and press enter. Next, draw a line vertically to the upside. Put the dimension 64 millimeters and press enter. Then, Draw a line straight horizontally to the right side. Put the dimension 16 mm. And press enter. Next, draw a line vertically to the downside. Put the dimension 64 minus 16 mm. And press enter. For the next line point, get a perpendicular tracking reference from the origin point or start point of this sketch. And draw a line straight horizontally. Then, complete the sketch with join the start point. Escape the command. Make sure we draw sketches perfectly. Now, we are going to draw the next sketch profile. Select the corner rectangle tool. Select this corner point for the first point of the rectangle. Move the cursor in this direction. Put the dimension 28 mm, width of the rectangle, and press enter. Put the dimension 8 plus 24 plus 8 mm length of the rectangle, and press enter. Escape the command. Select the circle tool. Select this midpoint of the line for the center point of the circle. Put the 24 mm diameter. And press enter. Select trim entities tool from the sketch tab. Make sure Power Trim mode is selected. And trim unwanted entity edges by dragging the mouse. Like this. Select Line Tool. Now we draw the sketch for this rib. Select this corner point. And this corner point. Escape the command. Our sketch is completed. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss, Base tool. Now see, nothing happened here with this sketch. Because we draw here multiple sketches. We should select one by one for extruding. Notice here, we have an option, Selected Counters. Click on this section, and select this first segment from the sketch for extruding. Like this. We should extrude in this direction. Put the value 64 millimeters. See the preview, and click on Mark OK. Now, we extrude second segment from the sketch. Expand the first extrude feature from the design tree. Then select Sketch 1. See, the sketch is visible. Select the Extruded Boss, Base tool. Now, this time we select the second segment from the sketch. Confirm the direction. Put the value 64 minus 22 millimeters. See the preview and click on Mark OK. Repeat this same process for third segment. Select Sketch 1 from the design tree. Select Extruded Boss, Base Tool. Click on Selected Counters and select this remaining rib profile. Confirm the direction, put the value 12 millimeters. See the preview, and click on Mark OK. 
Next, we have to fillet this corner with a radius of 48 millimeters. Select the fillet tool. Select this edge, and enter the fillet radius 48 millimeters. See the preview, and click on Mark OK. Next, we make this slot cut out from this solid. Select this face, and click on the sketch. Get view orientation, and select keep normal. Select a straight slot from the sketch tab. Approximately I select the first point on this edge. Move the cursor straight horizontally. Put the value 20 millimeters and press enter. Move the cursor away. Put the slot width value 16 millimeters and press enter. Escape the command. We required to fix one more dimension. This dimension. Select Smart Dimension Tool. Select this line. And this edge. Place the dimension. Put the value 16 millimeters and press enter. That's enough. Go to the Feature tab and select Extruded Cut Tool. Solidly rotate the object to get an idea of the cutout feature. Set the orientation like this. Select the trough all option for this cutout. See the preview, and click on Mark OK. Our 3D model is completed. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to Appearance. Drop down the Appearance. And, select Metal. Select Zinc Material. And, I choose Cast Zinc Material. Just drag it on the object and select the Body option. Now, here we applied material to this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. Keep practice to make this model. Thank you for watching. See you in the next exercise video. Have a nice day.